and pop this onto the book. So we have this, we have our, I think some, some people might put a, a bookmarker, like you could also glue another piece of ribbon so that you'd have a bookmark, but I think it's enough with just to have this. So let me move that out of the way. And I am going to peel my sticky back off. This actually, I didn't give you a measurement. This is three quarters of an inch by just the an inch and a quarter because <clears throat> with the paper I did fold over on one. Let's see. I, I know I did on one of these. Probably the original. I folded over the edge. But you know what? They're so tiny you don't have to worry about all those little things. So I just peel my sticky back canvas off. And let's see, make sure I got the front and back because you want the eyelet to be at the top. And I just leave about like, not quite a quarter of an inch, I don't think. Yeah, it's about a quarter of an inch actually. A quarter of an inch and then let it come around and get the rest of it on the back. And it, it holds pretty good. Um, the sticky back does. <clears throat> and then... <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I have this ribbon, the ribbon that I used for uh, the little tie. I'm just going to put, and I like to use, I did use um, glossy accents for a couple of them, but I actually am going to use the Fabri-Tac this time because, and I used it on a couple of them too. But just because the canvas, it is a fabric uh, surface. This isn't coming out at the moment. It will. It just has to get shook down. <laughs> Um, come on. I'm just going to put it right along the edge of the canvas. I don't really need to ink it, I guess. But better safe than sorry. I'm going to lay that over there because it's going to drip. Then I just take this little scrap of ribbon and push down. <clears throat> and just hold it for... A couple seconds and I just let the um, extra hang over the edge but it just adds a little extra to the and actually the swap you were supposed to put like three embellishments on here I don't know I mean I guess this could be considered an embellishment I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and this like I said it's all dripping out now it's gooey it's kind of like um, hot glue but it's not hot that I, that's why I kind of like it. It's got a little tack to it right away. So it's not like you don't wait for it to dry as much as you would with the um, glossy accents. And I'm just going to take this again and just go right to the edge and just kind of push down. It's all squishing out. It, kinda, it does get those little um, strings like uh, hot glue does. And that's it. So I'm going to give that a second and I'm going to just take my scissors and snip snip I don't want to snip snip it right up to the edge that's all I mean in, in my big books I would um, fold this over to the back but I already put the inside paper because then you would cover it with your inside paper. The uh, So that's it. Let's see if this is the front or the back. I think it goes like that. And then you can embellish it. I have this little um, crystal flower I was going to use. Um, but on this one it has a flower. I think I would probably do it on this one. Like just put this little crystal flower here with a couple of these little um, crystal leaves. And I think that's going to be cute. So that's it. Now this was quite an awkward tutorial. Once again, I just don't feel comfortable with this. I think my camera's in the way and stuff like that. But they're really cute. They're, they are fun to make. They're actually, you know, you get on a roll. You have the, the supplies for like a couple of them at a time. I put a little angel on this one. A bling angel. I stamped this with a, like a little Prima stamp. It says a love story and I put a heart and just the ribbon again and you put your don't forget to put your um, jump ring and then you make it into a little charm so you can add that on your chunky charm.